Hello, and welcome to the demo at series for TIBCO Data Virtualization, or TDV. In this demo at, we discuss connecting as a client to TDVs via JDBC. Here is our agenda. We begin by defining JDBC client connectivity to TDVs and outlining its importance for our customers. Next, we walk through a very basic demo of JDBC connectivity. Finally, we summarize the contents of this demoette. Let's begin by discussing what JDBC connectivity is and why it's important for our customers. JDBC stands for Java Database Connectivity. It is an API that allows client software to connect to SQL databases. Many SQL database vendors provide JDBC drivers for their products. TIBCO also provides a JDBC driver for TDV. JDBC requires that a driver be available on each client machine. JDBC connectivity to TDV is important to our customers for two reasons. First, it enables data consumers to connect to TDV using their commercially available data visualization tools of choice. These products can use JDBC to connect to TDV, just as they would to any other SQL database. Second, JDBC connectivity makes it easy for developers to write custom applications that access TDV as a SQL database. Next, let's walk through a very basic demo of JDBC connectivity to TDV. Here is the business problem that we illustrate in this demo. We have created a TDV federated view from underlying physical data sources. A business analyst wants to consume this view into a data visualization tool. For this demoette, we use Squirrel, a freeware SQL tool. We will use JDBC to enable Squirrel to connect to TDV. Other client products may have their own installation instructions, but in general, they will follow the steps we outline here with Squirrel. Before you begin this demo, you must download and install Squirrel. Next, make sure you have the appropriate published resource for your JDBC client connection. No car file is required for this demo. Simply publish the view order view that is delivered with Studio in the examples folder. Publish as a database using the data source, catalog, and schema shown here. The TDV JDBC driver is installed as part of TDV. Its name is csjdbc.jar, and it is found in the location shown here. If you installed Squirrel on the same machine as TDV, you can leave this driver where it is. If you installed Squirrel on a remote machine, copy this file to a convenient location on the remote machine. Now we are ready to define the driver in Squirrel. Go to the Drivers tab in Squirrel and click Add. Give the driver a name and enter the URL template shown here. This template is used to specify connection details for TDV. Go to the Extra Class Path tab, click Add, and enter the path to the TDV JDBC driver jar file. When you click List Drivers, the driver class from the jar file is shown. Click OK and the driver is defined in Squirrel. Next, we define the alias in Squirrel. This is the specific information we will use to connect to TDV. Go to the Aliases tab in Squirrel and click Add. Give the alias a name and associate it with the driver we defined earlier. Now, we replace the template information in the driver definition with specific logon information. Our host is localhost. For a default installation of TDV, we would select port 9401 because by default, TDV uses ports 9400 through 9409. However, this particular TDV instance uses ports 9420 through 9429 so we specify port 9421. 
Our domain is composite because the logon we will use is a user who is defined in TDV's own user management domain, which is named composite. Data source is the name of the TDV database we want to access. When we published our resource earlier, we named this database demo at JDBC. We enter the credentials of a valid user in the composite domain. Now we can click test, test our connection to the database, and verify that the connection works. Click OK and the alias is defined in Squirrel. Thanks to the TDV JDBC driver, TDV presents itself to our data visualization tool as a SQL compliant database. We can browse to the view order table and see its metadata, view its contents, and execute SQL statements against it. Our demo is complete. Let's summarize what we have seen in this presentation. JDBC stands for Java Database Connectivity. It is an API that allows client software to connect to SQL databases. Many SQL database vendors provide JDBC drivers for their products. TIBCO also provides a JDBC driver for TDV. JDBC requires that a driver be available on each client machine. JDBC connectivity to TDV is important to our customers for two reasons. First, it enables data consumers to connect to TDV using their commercially available data visualization tools of choice. These products can use JDBC to connect to TDV just as they would to any other SQL database. Second, JDBC connectivity makes it easy for developers to write custom applications that access TDV as a SQL database. Thank you.